So first of all, only admin should be able to change a person's role. So when admin is viewing the edit page, only admin should be able to see change a person's role. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do if this person is an ad admin of user role underscore ID is less than three, then they should be able to see this button. And like I told you, we're just hiding the controls from the user. It doesn't mean if the user inspects elements and edits and inserts this code, they can't edit it. We will get to the point where we can prevent them from being able to edit it, even if they manually add this code, all right? So this prevents non-admins from seeing this page. Then the next thing we need to do is to actually um, create a dropdown, select dropdown here. So to do that is simple. We just go to Google and search for Bootstrap uh, 3 select. Oh, select drop down that's it so we'll choose our first result and try to um, get the select our w3 scores comes to the rescue we we'll click on it we're just looking for basic select code then we can modify it to be what we want it to be so if you look at this place um control f select and um, i think that's it select okay there is this select this is the one we're looking for so we come here and copy it copy this code if we come to our code we see that there is a form control and there's column essences let me paste it under i pasted it under so this one just have form group so we're going to add column sx sm6 column sm6 makes it just take half of the screen and then the other thing we're going to look at is the it's called the title we're going to call it user level okay so um or level yeah levels anyway then these are the options we're going to delete three options and use a for loop to look through at for rich we've not created the variable but i'm just going to type it out here it's, um, i'm going to say roles as Role and for each for each so it's going to look through we've not created this roles variable but we're going to create it and then what what we're going to do here is the value this is basic html so the role will be role here we're going to do this do this and paste role name all right Beautiful. Then we do the same thing and paste ID. The value should be row ID. So now we have this. Um, it's all cute. We can now go to the um, controller for users to create rows. We need to pull all rows. Uh, the controller for user under um, edit, under update. So we'll go to admin, the app. Go to HTTP, go to user, and then um, index create store. Uh, we're looking for update show edit. We're looking for updates. So this is all we're looking for now. Um, the updates, um, I don't think so. We're looking for edits. Edits displays the page while the updates only works only after the user has submitted the form. So this page, as you can see, it pulls the user's details and then passes it on to the view. That's what is happening here. But, and then of course it throws an error if the user was not found when it's trying to pull the details. We pass the user ID here from the URL. If you look at the user table, look at the URL, you see we're passing this ID from the URL. It's receiving it from here. We also need to, under here, we need to pull the list of roles. So let me call it roles equal to row all this is basic laravel code to pull all the rows so but we need to import this row at the top of the file but before we import it we're, now let's assume that we've done it we are going to pass it to the view so i'm going to click here just to bring this down to create more space and i'll click here bring this down click here again bring this down so we can now do another way this is another way you can pass data i'll call it rows 
Uh, the data on our page will be called rows, but the value here is called rows. That's it. Then I can bring this semicolon back, and we're good. See? So we, we got all the rows, and we put them here, and we're looking through. That's just it. Now, the issue is that if we scroll up, we need to import the row model. So we're going to come here and do use app backward slash models backward slash row the reason why i did app models backward slash models is that if you go to the app folder and you go to the models folder you will see a, a model called row that's just it nothing there so it's sorted now now if we go to our page and now refresh look at this place it's going to change refresh everything is going to be beautiful um really okay yeah it's hidden because we are not admin i think i should make myself an admin like a boss so we'll go to the database to make ourselves an admin click on user make ourselves an admin on the role id we're going to put one for ourselves enter hit enter and we're now on an admin so like a boss we can come back and refresh so we can see so it's now showing look at it user at user level see makes sense so now we have user level and it's beautiful. The next thing we're going to do is to make sure that if the user, for instance, the user was buyer before, you understand? It was buyer before and um, there's no way to indicate. We want it to be selected by default. Once we refresh this page, the original role of the user should be able to select, be like selected by default instead of just the first one. So we're going to add just one more layer. Let's go to our fields. If we go to users in resources, We'll go to users folder we'll go to fields then at the top of this place we need to add one more option field i'm going to copy this option field we have here and paste here or let me instead of confusing you let me do it manually we have option option so we want the one at the top to always be at the correct one the last one the user selected will say value equal to and remember how we do values we do this this in blade that's how we display value in blade now we have to pull out the user roles if you look at the way uh, user details are displayed uh, we can do if we look at our user controller in edit where is edit you see that this user is passed in look at there's a user variable that is passed in, but uh, so we can gain uh, we can gain access to it and say user, and uh, we're gonna do. Remember that we in the data in the model we told user the relationship it has with role. We can now do user role ID, and it works perfectly. We'll do the same thing here, but instead of using ID, we use name. So I'll copy uh, because I'm lazy. I don't want to type all over again. I'll do this. We'll call it name. So it should show now. So if we refresh. We are going to see guess what so it shows us the current role of the user and then we can always adjust it you see so by default the current role of the user is selected so if i come here in the database and change the role of the user to let's say three hit enter and uh, we come here and refresh it changes from we're no longer admin so we can't see it oops so let me put it at two um the reason why non-admin shouldn't be able to edit other people's role is so that somebody cannot just come and make themselves admin and all of a sudden they are now the boss of the system reload so we can see this is now moderator so whenever the user role changes it changes but i think i should call this level instead of level uh, but that brings us to the end of this video and we're good, alright? See you in the next video.